Bad Plays Games. Hello, Pioneers. I hope you're well. My name is Bed, and this is the Satisfactory Plus mod for the game Satisfactory. On the last episode, we set out to get a trickle of production of computers, heavy modular frames, which had to include soldering wire, circuit boards, and also modular frames, because we hadn't done that yet somehow. I also grappled with my demons that are unfinished building projects, and had a lot of differing thoughts on the Nexus. I got a lot of great comments in the last episode, including this one, where the commenter says they feel like the main reason for fax is to bring items from the ore deposits into the factory. And also this comment that suggests that maybe I have a single Faxit network per factory. So kind of the two opposite spectrums, bringing stuff to factories from the ore deposits, or another idea could be just using the Faxit inside of a single factory. That second commenter also pointed out that I have not been going slow in automating everything, which was the mindset I had started with, and you are absolutely right, I have been rushing a lot. Part of the reason I have been rushing is because 1.0 for both Satisfactory and Satisfactory Plus are coming. And I touched on it, I think, last episode. The Satisfactory Plus 1.0 is changing everything about the mod. I will have to start the game over. Everything will be different. It's not called Steritite and Rubite anymore. All the parts and the progressions are different. Everything is being reworked. Because of that, I've kind of hit a wall at what I want to do with Satisfactory Plus because if I work through all this content, when Satisfactory Plus 1.0 does come out, this content won't be there to be playable anymore. It, it renders these videos that I'm making right now completely pointless, I think. I mean, I'm still having fun doing them, and I'm having fun interacting with you, but all this time I've spent making these videos won't be useful for Satisfactory Plus into the future. And then I got this other comment, which touches on just that, that with the Satisfactory Plus overhaul coming, why don't I just focus on getting through the rest of the content they say right here, focus on getting the Space Elevator Phase 3 unlocked for the series and the season so everybody can see what it's like right now, and then just leave it at that. And I think that that is a wonderful idea. So whatever I said last episode about doing this episode, like unlocking more stuff in the MAM or finishing decorating buildings, I am going to put that on the back burner. We're going to spend the rest of our days in this version of Satisfactory Plus just building factories and getting through the space elevator stuff, so we can all see what it is. Because last time I played Satisfactory Plus, I kind of gave up at a very similar part of where I am right now. So I want to get to that next step. I want to see what the aluminum production looks like, for example. So with that in mind, let's move forward with our future of this playthrough. We currently have 167 computers in the storage bin and five in our inventory which I think will be enough for a little while. So what I have done is I've turned off the production on the circuit board manufacturer to allow us to stockpile this soldering wire because we need 10,000 for the next delivery. Uh, now we make 120 per minute already, which means we need 83 and a third minutes to stockpile the amount of solder we need. And it's already been running a little bit while I was filming this intro. So yeah, look at that, we're already at 5,610, so we're halfway there. And I'm gonna go eat dinner really quick, and when I come back, this will be done. We'll put it in the space elevator and turn that manufacturer back on. And after a quick bite, oh, <laughs> so close. What is that, less than a minute? That's hilariously great timing. So I've been trying to decide what to actually do with this episode, and I had decided to focus on getting cobalt done. Then I remembered all the other shit I said before, and I want to do the fix-it farming and slugs. And I think this is the space I want to do it. I don't want it to be inside the main structure there, because eventually I foresee this all getting enclosed and covered up in some sort of building. And I want all of these farms and breeding areas to kind of maybe look like a greenhouse. You know, have lots of glass and stuff like that. So I can easily go all the way to that edge there in the south direction and have it butt up right against that part of the power plant, which I think will be super cool because then it ties this building that we're looking at right here with our biological water power plant into the main mega factory. Because again, the idea is that this is all supposed to just be one interconnected factory. I just haven't built it yet. And that rock is giving me pause. So I think we should run up there and put the base floor of the farming area just above that rock there. This one I'm circling with my crosshair. And then that one will stay to the south of. Actually, we'll probably stay to the south of those belts there. Let's go up and look. All right, I can immediately tell that it isn't high enough. This is 
much too loud in my ear. This is just about high enough though. So let's go. Let's go up that far. This doesn't look quite far enough, but let's go and we'll test over here. I also, now that I'm seeing that rock in all those poison gas plants, I want some Nobelisks. But now's not the time for that. This actually might be the right height, assuming I can clear off that whole thing. And I'm going to assume... Why? Why even assume and make take a risk? We'll just put it up four meters higher. And you know what else I want? I want uh, concrete. So let's, let's do it that way, and then that way. Hmm. Yeah, something like that. Pretty sure Nobelisks can kill this. I'm gonna have to take care of the Summer Sloop as well, just because I don't want it constantly talking to me when I'm farming. Try a chainsaw, maybe? This is going to hurt. <laughs> hmm. Alright, looks like this platform is going to get into... Yeah, right about... Oh, we're already about there. It's going to start getting enveloped into the ground. So let's... Help it along. Yeah, something like that. Zoop a platform down, and we'll get some power so we can fly up. Although, wait a minute, hypertubes. You can literally do hypertubes now. Hypertubes. I was so excited to get them, and then it's just something I don't think to stop and, you know, hook up, which is my fault. <laughs> it's awesome. All right, get us the rest of the way up with this. Put another entrance right here. You know, for good measure. Why don't I take the time and set that up? I'm... Uh, I'm dumb. Oh, I was just running through. Check this out. They changed the way the tin looks. Okay, let's zoop it out. Like so, and then like so. And we're so close. I love it. Now we can go as far that way as we need. So we are not limited on space at all. Well, I mean, 
hopefully we don't make it all that way, but I don't know, that'd be kind of cool too, though. <laughs> Dumb. A longtime community member on my Discord. And if you're interested in joining my Discord, you should. The link is down in the description below. We talk a lot about Satisfactory Plus, and you can ask me anything, anytime. They shared a breakdown of all the different slugs and the amounts that you need and the foods that you need and the ingredients that you need and the amounts. And it came down to showing this as the total number of farming goods you need to run basically one hatchery of each type. So let's just say you need this amount of grainy breakfast, healthy, sweet, mushroom, Halloween and fruity food. And to get all those, you need this amount of wheat, potato, banana, etc. 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 Et I don't know. So we're going to use this as a baseline. That's my point. And with the Faxit system, this should be incredibly easy to hook up in a clean and cool way. So let's just start with a hundred wheat. All right, instead of building it right now, since I didn't have any dirt on me, I figure we can do our numbers over here. So, for example, each of these plots gives us 10 wheat per minute. Now I know you can do, what? what is it? Like there's like fertilizer and watering and other things you can do to increase the amount, but I'm just going bare basics minimum right now just so we can make some progress and then we'll optimize and tweak as we go, probably. So then to get 100, we need 10 of these plots and there's four in each machine. So we need two and a half machines dedicated to wheat. And we're gonna need, what is it? Two, four, six, eight. Well, anyway, yeah. So we'll need 2000 dirt to make all of these. All right, let's make a farming platform. And then we can make four crop plots. All right, so what are we making? Grainy food, right? I think I need to think about this a different way. Yes, instead of thinking about the 100 wheat I need to do total, which is silly, I should think about the 90 grainy food I need total. That's the first step, because that's the first food we're gonna need. So 90 grainy food. We can get 90 grainy food. Oops, and here we can see we can get 90 grainy food by 60 and then half again is 90. So 20 and half again is 30. So we need 30 wheat and 30 carrots per minute. So wheat. So only three of these to be wheat. That gets us our 30 wheat and now we'll need three carrots which gets us right here. So we'll have one, two, three wheat, one, two, three carrots, and then we'll move on to something else. It's perfect. Uh, these need the harvesting module. And what other module do we need? Oh, that's right. We're gonna have to speed it up. Let's find our jar of dirt that's free. We should have some nearby. I cannot keep the three dirts straight in my head. Yeah, so we've got some over here. Let's go plug it into the Faxit system. Since I know we've got Faxit out there and up there. Or we will up there. All right, so we have four impure nodes right here. Let's see how much that gets us. And we get 60 per minute. How much did we say we needed? And so how much wheat was that again? We need it for 20. So we need 30 wheat per minute. Again, 30 per minute. We need 30 wheat seeds per minute. 30 wheat seeds per minute is one jar jar at 30 per minute. We can run two of those off of here. I decided to run over here instead because we're dealing with pure nodes and that'll just be just way easier. So 
So, oops. Modular Miner. Steel Head. Upgraded Power Pole. And then we get 240 jars of dirt per minute just from one node. That's way better. So let's feed that into the fax system. Uh, the fax it system. Brilliant. I know we have fax it over here somewhere. Alright, now let's limit the jars of dirt. Find it, there we go. Let's limit it to 10. Should I save time and look for the other dirt jars right now? Okay, we've got a pure bog earth already in use over there. So we'll be able to steal from that one. Uh, that's awesome. The f simplicity of the Faxit system uh, and the logistics of a factory is going to be really useful for this particular implementation because with all the cooking and the crop plots and just everything like that, there's just an absolute ton of belt work that needs to be done and go in all different kinds of directions. And instead of worrying about it, I just get to plug and play. I think it'll be fun in this scenario specifically. I'm gonna go get more dirt though. I forgot to pick it up. Seriously, I was just thinking of the implications of the FACSA system on this and just going food item by food item, it's gonna be so easy to just plug this in. I'm so thrilled. Oh, because I did just realize I'm gonna need to use. Hmm, we're gonna have to feed him in. I don't know, what am I thinking? I'm not thinking, clearly. Okay, so perfect, back to where we were. We now have all the dirt we need, and we have the seeds that we're gonna need, but now we need to turn the dirt into seeds. So let's kind of line this up. Why didn't I line that up earlier? All right, we need the seed extractor. Take uh, oh, let's turn the sound off first. I'll take a storage network, fax it sender. And then we need to bring fax it up here. And then we will select our jars of dirt. Now we are turning 30 jars of dirt per minute into 30 of each type of these. So that's enough for wheat and potato for this grainy food that we're doing. Uh, I said potato, I meant wheat and carrot. Hmm, how do we want to do this? Just spitballing ideas. I think I want to have some stink storages just so nothing ever overflows, or um, jams, I mean. For each one. And then we'll put it right into a receiver over here. I need materials though. Let's, let's do the four, but set them back just a little bit. All right, and then we'll do smart splitters. One, two, and Two and three. I certainly misplaced that one. All right, so we want to the right, we want wheat seeds. And then on this one, we want 
corn, and then potato, and then carrot. Corn seed. Potato. And then the last one can stay empty. Perfect. Well, that's not right. What's this supposed to be? Potato, carrot. Ford, I only want carrot seeds. Okay, now we're going to need to put them all in. Oops, I grabbed sender. I want receiver and terminals. Gonna set each one just like we always do. Just like so, we'll have them all hooked up and we're ready to go. Okay, now we've got all of our seeds. Probably not all of our seeds, but all that we need for right now. I think for simplicity's sake, I'm going to turn everything from this machine to wheat, and we'll just have a little bit of extra for now. That way I don't have to worry about ratios, and using the Faxit system to input them, I don't have to worry about clogging up the system with overflows, because we'd need three to one the wheat to carrot, and I just don't want to deal with that, to be perfectly honest. This will make this easier as well to set up the sending machines. So all we have to do is put one right there and select wheat. And of course, I forgot about, what is this, the, um, the greenhouse module. Because so look, now it's gone 15 to 15. So instead of having three of each, I could just have two of each. Honestly, I think I'm just going to leave it for now. Yeah, it's going to be fine. Let's add more crop plots. That's embarrassing, out of iron rods. And four. We're going to set all these to carrot. And after the plots, we'll add the harvesting modules and then the greenhouse modules. Just like for the wheat. And this is carrot. All right, now for the output of this, we need a smart splitter. We need factors. Go so and so. That's right. To the left, we're going to do biomass capsules. To the right, we're going to do wheat. Boom. We got wheat in the system. And we've got biomass capsules in the system. Oh, right. That's going to stop and clog. Yeah, that's why we would do it the other way. I know we need an overflow somewhere, but. So to correct that, we can add some awesome sink storages. Oh, I don't really want to do that though for every single biomass capsule. Oh, it's fine. We can set this up in a better way later. Now we'll put it into the storage network with receivers. And now we'll do the same thing for the outputs. We're gonna create a smart splitter. We're gonna to go to the left, we're gonna have capsules, biomass capsules, and to the right, we're going to have carrots. 
and then we're going to put them into containers like so and we're going to run them in like so and then we'll put them into receivers like so okay that's enough of that Hmm. What do? Where's all my stuff? Oh, there it is. It just hadn't been long enough. Weird. Perfect. And biocapsules should already be set. Tis. Excellent. Alright, what do we want to do now? Now we want to cook all of our food, right? So, I think we'll go to this third layer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll go over here. Alright, now we have to add a cooking hub. Cooking hub. And I said we needed 90 grainy food total. So let's do grainy food. We need 30 per minute. That's what we're gonna make. Oh, I don't have power shards yet. That's dumb. I should make power shards. So we're going to need two of these. Put a splitter. Right here. And then, what did I say we needed? Wheat and carrots. I should know this now. Grab a sender. All right, we'll grab a sender, attach it to the wheat. And then, hmm, splitter. that out of the way and then turn this one to carrot and then we'll have all the grainy food we're going to need for the setup you know we might we might do more you know this is set up for one hatchery of each kind but we might want to increase that a lot but right now we're gonna get a trickle of all of them so we can try to work on mutations because if I haven't mentioned this before or you're unaware when you're getting the slugs and you're breeding them like when you're breeding blue slugs, you have a chance to spawn yellow ones, and that's an easy way to get yellow. I think it's like 1 in 100 or 1 in 500, something like that. So we're going to be breeding all kinds of slugs, trying to get all kinds of variations as we work our way through every color. Bad plays games. 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 